Right, so here's our uh, first little setup um, of our bearing motor. Um, seems to have a shaft and bearing under each one of these caps. Now, what I've done is I've put a um, field detection coil here and one each end of the bearings. Now, of course, I've only got two channels on my scope, so we're going to be looking at this one here and this one here. Um, and I have noticed that um, these two fields here are slightly out of phase from what I can tell it's very noisy on the scope um, I'm running my power supply for this is my old arc welder so um, when I start it up I suggest you turn your volume down because she's a rattly old girl the uh, tin box is loose around it and make the hell of a noise I'll sort that out tomorrow but um, tonight that's going to do the job. <coughs> simply going through re relay, uh, which I haven't mounted a switch up here for yet. I've simply just got to uh, hook it up to the battery up there. That'll click in, current will go through. And I'm right down as far as I can go, which is about 30 amps on the um, power supply. Uh, I have an aluminium pulley in here. As you can see it spins quite free and um, as you'll see there it's um, been well machined and finally unbalanced. So um, aluminium. Now this thing doesn't seem to want to get up and boogie like uh, the one on the video in the uh, beginning of this post but um, it does spin but I'm not very impressive and I'm just wondering if it's something to do with the aluminium because he actually had a steel rotor on his and we have seen others that are just using the guts out of a uh, motor now this one here um, happens to be exactly the same as the one that shaft came out of so um, in our next test <clears throat> I'm going to swap this aluminium rotor and shaft out for this uh, steel rotor and shaft and see if that makes any difference to the speed. I'm also going to try it just with the shaft itself with no rotor. Um, <clears throat> so of course we do have a uh, magnetic field around here this is an AC situation so we're going to see an AC wave on the scope but um, it looks like it's out of phase it's very hard to tell because it's just a terrible terrible signal um, but anyway that's what we've got. So um, I'm going to give it a little spin now and hook it up. So you guys turn your volume down. Otherwise you're going to be really, really annoyed. So as you can see it just doesn't want to get up and move. Um, you can see we have an odd sort of a, uh, a very messy waveform but it does look like they're slightly out of phase between here and here. Now these ones here, two end coils are detecting the field around the outside of the bearing. This one's detecting the field around the shaft I would think, however it may be getting something off the face of this pulley but the pulley is aluminium and um, as you can see it's not working very well at all so um, that's it for the first test I need to get this thing spinning faster um, so you're going to rip that aluminium pulley off and um, try just the shaft itself see what happens and then we'll plonk this big mess in there and we'll uh, see what happens there. Now if this happens to spin a whole lot faster than that with the same bearings 
same shaft that must mean we have some sort of magnetic um, drive system going on here because we know aluminium likes to uh, make that pulley is very warm why would the pulley be so warm around the outside when the shaft is cold okay so the shaft's cold and the pulley is quite warm that is interesting um, mm. alright so um, I'll put this video up I have a feeling that this is killing anything that's uh, driving this uh, motor so we're going to uh, next video swap it over for this steel one and see what happens on the same power which is the lowest power my uh, welder will put out about 30 amps so um, that's our first test and we'll see you next test guys um, I think this aluminium is a problem because it is indeed warm just while, before we go I'll get my heat gun uh, let's have a look at uh, bench temperature is 18.8 degrees get off the shiny shit on the pulley well it's definitely warmer it's not a lot warmer but it's definitely warmer I bet the old bearings are pretty hot well not too bad like I said the shaft the shaft's not hot they're not hot but the pulley is definitely warm. You can feel it. Hmm. Alright. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.